Hi everyone and welcome back to Crafts with Mike. I know it's been a bloody long time since I um, last filmed something on this channel, but it's the, the problem is with crafts is it's finding things to do and uh, I really do struggle to find things to do on the craft channel, but we have Aragog here um, and this was the new one, uh, so the, the first one that we did. I decided to build another one, okay, because what I want to do is I want to have one that's untouched and one that is painted up. So in today's session we're going to be making a start on one of the legs here and this one is going to be untouched. I've also reinforced it with glue here as well. I will be reinforcing this one with glue as well and I'm just going to use, just as a test, I'm just going to use this uh, cheapy black paint that I've got left over from my garden gnome that I was painting. So we're going to do that. Now if you've ever heard of the app Timu, it's the internet sensation at the moment because everyone's using Timu. I found these brushes on Timu, I think I paid like £1.20 something, but you get so many different brushes in here and what I do is I don't, when I get my brushes I chuck them away so as soon as I'm finished with it it goes in the trash. They're just so cheap to rebuy and I can't be asked with, you know, standing there washing them all out. I'm a lazy person, so uh, <laughs> I would sooner just like rebuy them. Um, but you've got all sorts here. You've got a thin tip, some other thin tips, some thicker pieces, but um, I think I'm gonna probably, let's have a look here. It might be too big that one. So let's try, and, let's give this one a go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, I'd like to, originally I was gonna paint it all over while it's built, but to get in all the nooks and crannies, I'd like to do the back leg first of all. If we can gently prise that out, we might have to go to this one. So as you can see, I'm not gonna take all this out, but I'm gonna try and get into this part here and uh, we'll do as best we can on there. So what's gonna happen is we are going to basically paint the first leg here today. Now this is probably gonna span out every day until you know we've got some bits and bobs to do. There's little paint in here and I need to get some more of this paint. Um, but I thought, well, rather than go in the bin, I'll use it up. It's quite gloopy, so we'll have to give it a go. But the idea is, is that I want to basically mod it to look like the spider that was in, our, you know, Harry Potter. That's going on beautifully. It's not wet and it's nice and dry. It feels like it's drying instantly, which is quite good. So, yeah, I'm gonna um, get a splodge. I'm gonna do a bit of that, I think. It's gonna look really creepy having a uh, black spider looking at me. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And as you can see, I want to go over every little detail. Now, this is just your cheap sort of paint that you get with like the works and stuff, but it's going to be difficult trying to figure out where to get this type of paint because it could be that I buy a lot of, you know, the gnome kits and just pinch it out of there. But I suppose any black paint will matter, but trying to find it on Amazon is quite challenging because I, I need to match it. There's various different types of black, you see, so Oh, this is looking lovely or whoops this is looking lovely already I'm really happy with this wow but really as well is I want to test my paint skills I would like to be able to you know decorate my living room eventually because I'm it could do with a bit of a touch-up but my brother's always done like the painting for me because like I either put it on too thick or too thin and <laughs> but what's lovely about this is I'm gonna have something that I've modded which is quite nice as you can see so we're gonna try and do this every day there might not be another video for a couple of days because I'm gonna have to get some paint ordered but I need to try and find the best type of paint for this type of thing I think what I'd like to do next is just sort of go over this back part as well. This is absolutely beautiful. It's going on really, really well. What a lovely colour. 
I know it's black, but I'm really impressed that it's drying instantly. It's probably the wood is, and obviously the heat that we've got in the UK at the moment. Oh, wow. But obviously, just making sure that everywhere is covered as well, because that's the whole point of this. But it's been really great to get back into the crafty side of it, because um, I've not really had an opportunity to do much crafty things. It's just, I just don't know what to do for crafts. <laughs> Okay, then what I'm going to do yeah I think that's dry just get down to here that looks like a big pincer you know on the scorpion where it goes mm. and stings them <laughs> yeah. I've really enjoyed doing this what a better way to spend your uh, Tuesday afternoon painting <laughs> So I think we'll just do a bit up here. I think we've just got enough to paint that up there. There's a bit down here that we've missed around the region of refuge. It's a bit wet still there, but just need to try and see. Can you see it? I've only put that on like probably about 10 minutes ago and it's, it's drying perfectly pinch there and get all in there and that done wow really happy with that it's gorgeous look at that oh wow so I'm going to leave that to dry over there let's see if we can get another bit of the leg done here well actually no I'll tell you what I'd like to do I want to try and get this part here done in here. I don't really want to take off any of this bodywork here. I'm trying to get all in the nooks and crannies, and that's why I got the assortment of brushes so that I can get right in the cracks and stuff. So, because it is doable, it's just where possible, I'd like to. Uh, get in there but this is gonna be really beautifully once it's done and this is the thing you don't have to you know do what I'm doing and mod it if you don't want to but that's why I like to build two of each things I've actually seen some of these type of wooden kits on Timu and um, I've actually ordered a uh, it's like a stegosaurus thing so once that comes we'll be doing that as well but that looks really beautiful so yeah it's just I don't want to go near the eye because I'm, I'm going to do that in a different sort of shade but I mean on the pictures they've got it as um, on the pictures they've got it as a uh, like a silvery sort of color but mine's going to be black all over with the exception of the eyes so yeah Now you may see that I'm not doing all bits, like all the same here and here, is because we've got very little paint left in this, so I'm just trying to go over just like certain parts that I know we don't really need to tackle at the moment. I might do the spinners. These little point things, they're called spinners, and that's what the spider uses to spin their web. And not all spiders spin webs, believe it or not. Some just are like hunters, some don't really do all the uh, spinning palaver and all that. But uh, this brings back memories because the last time I was painting was when we had to paint the coffin for um, a scene in Oliver. And we were doing a production called Oliver. And part of it had to be painted black, so it was really quite nice to get into there because some of the sets are we hire them um, some sets we have to build from scratch so it's a bit of a mixture really I'm just going to try and scrape as much as I possibly can out of this it 
depending on how it looks once it's finished, we'll do it all over and then we'll take a look, but depending on how it looks once it's finished, will depend whether I need to put another coat on this. But looking at this, I think we'll get away with just one coat on this. It looks really lovely indeed. And I'm debating, with the little Dobby figure that I did, I'm debating whether I should do that uh, painted as well. The trouble is with that, it will need skin tone. And I, when I tried to do skin tone on the uh, Garden Gnome, it went a little bit too pink. Because skin tone, I think, you mix with white and pink. But, yeah, I don't know how I would do that. I would need some sort of, like, paint stripper to get that off and, you know, go from scratch again. But a spider's quite easy to do because it's near enough all one colour in that, but uh, yeah. And then what you can do, you can change the brush, so like you can get a thinner brush just to get into that. Oh yeah, that's a big dollop. Oh yeah. And then this point, you see, so right in the nook, I can get right in that far corner and then I can paint that up like that, you see? So that's what these look that's what's great about these um, these brushes really but uh, where do I want to go here let's try and do because obviously this is a wider section I'm not going to use a thinner brush on there unless we get right into the nooks and crannies there but already you can see it's really starting to take shape here. But it's been on the to-do list today, but it's just finding the time. I'm such a busy person. It's um, I wanted to do I wanted to do it after it was built, but <laughs> you know what it's like. You go, I'll well, do this that day, and then that gets pushed aside, and it's like you know. Just trying to get into that little hole down the back there. I don't like seeing gaps, so when it starts to dry that and you see like little gaps of white, then you know it needs a second coat. So, but yeah, I don't clean any of the brushes out. I did once, but it took so long and then I dried it and then all the colors were mixing. So it's just, for me, I don't mind chucking them away and buying new ones. They're cheap as bricks, so I'm uh, quite happy with that. And you get so much in the pack as well, so it just saves you buying white spirit and terps. You can use white spirit and terps to get paint off, but i much rather just reorder them. Plus, sometimes they break as well because they're quite cheap, so... Yeah. I was going to do the spinner a different colour, but I think we'll keep it black. Now, have I got any more paint in there? Got a little smidge that I can see is a bit wet, so we'll see what we can do there. Why didn't I do over here? <laughs> Can't be having that. No, liberties. I mean, I would, if I, if I wanted to, I could pull all this apart, but because they're so wedged in, I'd rather just, I should have glued this before, like the, I did with the other one, but this one, originally I was gonna pull apart and then just do each piece separately, but we're actually getting away with, you know, not having to do that, because it's, it's going in there quite lovely, actually, so, uh, yeah.
And even though there's a little bit on that brush, we're still getting paint off, which is uh, interesting. But on that note, we are going to let that dry now. So just a little small introductory video there, just to really show what I want to do. And then as you can see, once the leg is dried, that's dried beautifully. See how quick that's dried. I mean, obviously I might need to go over with another coat, especially like there. Bits like here as well might need a little bit. Let's see if there's any more on that brush. Uh, it just, it needs a bit of another coat, but can you see it really sort of now gives it like a gothic sort of look. So I'm really happy with that, and as you can see. And as I said, you don't have to paint it up. Um, so the idea is, is I'm going to have a black one and then I'm going to have one that's not touched. So yeah, I hope you like that little teaser. As I said, these are available through Timu. And I'll try and get the link for that so that you guys can get them. But you can pick these up anywhere, the range, um, the works do them, I think. Um, but I think my last lot came for the range and then I saw these on Timu and I was like, I've got to have them. So, uh, oh gosh, that's my leg. I don't want to go for the bloody leg, no. But anyway, that's that. We'll be doing more on uh, painting this as soon as I can get some more uh, black paint. So it might be a little bit of a break until I can get some ordered. I'll try and get some ordered um, this evening and just hope it comes the next day. But uh, if not, then I'll get uh, the next video up as soon as I can. But please remember to like, share, subscribe. Tap the bell if you want to be notified for the videos I do. If you want to get these, they come from a company called Incredibuilds, but they are available on Timu. Um, you can get them through the works, check out you know, Vinted, they might sell some on there. Um, my one came from Vinted, so it's really, really lovely, and I've really enjoyed doing it, but the, the actual website is a lot more expensive. I think the one of them was like 20 odd pounds, I think, so it's all about shopping around and getting the best sort of thing, and then obviously once that spider's legs had another coat, I'll put it back in, and I might just add a little bit of glue just to reinforce it. You don't need to, but it just, I think it keep coming, you know, it could get loose over the years. Um, but yeah, anyway, really, really happy with that. Take care, have a lovely evening, and I'll see you again very soon for another video of Aragog where we do some more painting. I really enjoy doing it as well because it's really relaxful as well. Um, sitting there with your lovely cup of latte there, painting away on a lovely sunny day with the fan. But anyway, take care guys, catch you later.